Hey my Aquariuses, I hope you guys are doing amazing. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Sean. Okay, so we're gonna go get, I cannot speak today. Go ahead and get into your next 72. Like I always say, this reading is general, so some things I may say may resonate with you and other things may not, so just take it as it resonates. All right, so we're gonna open up with Matthew 6, 34. It says, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about itself. I repeat, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. All right, I love that. So, by Aquarius, sorry, I'm a little bit tired. Whew. I've been running around doing all types of irons, and I am like freaking tired now. But I hope you guys are doing awesome. Please don't forget to hit the like button, it helps the channel, and subscribe as well. All right, let's see. For my Aquariuses, what will be happening the next time we shoot? What will be happening? Them? What will they be happening? What's, what are they observing? What is going on? Let's see. We have the Ten of Wands. Two of Wands. I said the Ten of Wands. The Two of Wands here. Okay. And then we have the Five of Blades here. This card always cracks me up. It always reminds me of, you have one more freaking time to ask me something or I'm about to pop off. So I see in the next 72, some of your Aquariuses are going to be seeing something that's very entertaining to you. Um, it could be a performer. Um, seeing something that's very, very entertaining to you. Also... I'm getting the red rose as well. A red rose might be really significant. But I'm also getting in the next 72, you're making a decision with the two of wands. It's between two different things, two options. Past, the future and the past I'm getting. Um, but I also see you're fed up with something in the next 72. You're like, you have one more freaking time. One more freaking time. I feel like it's um, someone being very annoying in the next 72. Someone kind of annoying you. But you may observe something on social media or somewhere that you find very cool. Um, okay. Is Do they still say cool? <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting old. Okay. Aquarius. Yeah. We have the nine of wands here. There, thoughts, feelings, and actions. Actions. For Aquarius. Yeah, we're having a tower moment. You guys are having a tower moment. I'm going to kind of move these over so I can have some more room. What they're not seeing. Aquarius is not seeing. Mm. Advice from Tarot. The advice. Aquarius about the situation. Uh, okay. Taking it slow. The outlook. Take it slow. The outlook. One of these cards flipped over, so I went to look at it. Um, the outlook. Take your time. Okay. Clarification on the nine of nine of wands. Clarification on the nine of wands. Mm. Ten of cups. Who's this disturbing your happiness? Who is this? The Ten of Cups. Who is that? Clarification on the... Or what is it? The Tower. Clarification on the Tower. Mm-hmm. Everything is fine. Clarification on the... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Give me a second to look at your cards. Okay, Aquarius, as I look at your cards here, yeah, you're definitely having to make a decision. Um, it's interesting. I feel, Aquarius, that you are definitely dealing with someone who was a wolf in sheep's clothing. They definitely hurt you. They did you wrong. This could be someone that is, um, this person is definitely dis uh, disturbing your Ten of Cups. That's like joy, happiness. They're disturbing your peace in the next 72. I also feel like this person might 
be the type of person that does um, anything or says anything um, for attention. They might even make up stuff. We also have, like with your actions right here, the Tower and the, the Ten of Swords here. I feel like you're definitely having like a total spirit is saying something about like some of you might have like a little bit of a feeling like you're having a meltdown. Don't have a meltdown about this situation, okay? Don't do it. You're now seeing this. The good thing is you're seeing this person for who they are. I feel like with the five of blades right here, I feel like they may have, yeah, where you got the hornet here. Like they stung you somehow. Um, they may, you, they may have done something in the past and you kind of let it go. But now this thing is like, this is the last straw right here. Like with this lady looking like one more time right here. Um, I feel like spirit is basically telling you when it comes to dealing with this situation, whether this is a coworker or whoever this is, I feel like it's saying, think, think your next move carefully. Don't react off of emotions. Um, don't lash out. Think logically with this situation, like plan it with the Knight of Pentacles. Think each step um, carefully right here. I also see like this person may even try to um, create some problems with work for some of you. Like they might try to create that. Also, I'm getting that spirit is saying something about um, too much of a good thing may cause some problems at work. I don't know if maybe you had like some partying for, this is for one group of Aquariuses. You probably partied um, and they might tell your business at work or something like that. Um, but the way to deal with this situation right here is just to think it out carefully. Reevaluate your, your steps, your outlook, because you're going to get past this, whatever this person's doing. Whatever this person's doing. Like this is a mess right here. But I am getting that th what goes around comes around. This person is going to get theirs. Like, don't even worry about that. I do see at the bottom of the deck right here, you're like your burdens are going to be um, released. Like this burdensome situation will resolve itself. But like I said, it's important for you to stay calm with this and not lash out. I'm getting. This person's an ass. Whoever this is. Yeah. Spirit wants you to surrender setting limits on yourself and it's healthy. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Surrender to setting limits on yourself. Okay. It says it is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. So I really think you need to continue to work on your boundaries when it comes to future situations like this or whatever this is, because I think this person may have gotten a little too comfortable or something. It's crazy. This is just ridiculous. Okay. Let's see what else is going on for Aquarius. But please don't worry. Don't panic. What goes around comes around and they're going to get their karma really fast because you come out of this perfectly fine. You do. You're shook up, but you know not to deal with this person anymore. Yeah, sorrow over a loss. You're going to feel a bit sad over this. It's, this may have even been a bit of a friendship. You thought this person was a true friend for some of you. Um, we also see you taking some type of vacation or needing to take some type of vacation. And that's okay. Yeah, disappointment in a friend or a lover. You're definitely very disappointed in the next 72, but that's okay. It happens to us all. You just know, hey, I don't fuck with you no more. That's all. Yeah, control your anger or you will be sorry. Right here, the Knight of Pentacles. Think things carefully when it comes to whatever the situation is. Think it, think it care carefully. You do have the well, though. Family wishes coming true. You have wishes that are coming true. Okay? Yeah, retirement. We have retirement. Some of you are going to be leaving your job, I'm getting. Yeah, grief work. You might need a bit of a break. 
and we have a new career. Some of you are definitely leaving a situation. I feel like a, there's a group of you, not all of you Aquariuses, where this person really disturbed your work environment and you're going to have to leave your work environment. You're deciding to and entering a new cre a career for some of you. And for another group of you, that's not the case. Um, you're dealing with someone who did something that stabbed you in the back in the next 72. And you're also working towards another career, a new career with something. But it's not like the same thing. Like they don't try to sabotage your career. But I am seeing a group of you where this person does try to sabotage your work or some way. Try to get other people to look at you in a different light. But it's not going to work. Let's see. Let's see, self-care messages for Aquarius, because Aquarius needs it. Aquarius needs it. All right. Spirit wants you in the next 72 to make a vision board. Focus on your goals. You're going to need to ground yourself, go outside, sit in the grass, and look for the fairies. When I look at this right here, some of you might actually be looking for fairies, but I feel like... <laughs> You might want to look at the magic that's around you. Um, use your imagination in the next 72. Like, be a little childlike when I look at that. Unless you believe in fairies, um, you might want to consult with them. Okay. Let's see. Love messages. We have reconciliation right here for your love messages. You deserve love. So someone from your... Ooh, that's way too many. But we'll go ahead. And, that's way too many. Okay, so some of you have someone from your past, too, that's trying to come back. Um, they're letting you know that you are lovable. But I feel like you're not really going to be feeling this person, honestly, because we have unrequainted love right here, and it's safe for you to love. I feel like you're not going to really go for this person. You weren't feeling them before, and you're still not feeling them now. That's what I'm getting. I feel like you're going to be focusing on more of yourself and looking at other options right here. So expect some an old love interest to pop their heads up during this time as well, Aquarius. And don't get so sad, because I hate, I hate being the bearer of bad news with some of these readings. But unfortunately, life isn't always roses and sunshines and all that other stuff. You know, BS happens, and that's the truth. BS just happens. All right, can I get a financial message for Aquarius? Media right here. It says, step into the spotlight and get seen. Don't allow your talent, don't allow your talent go unnoticed. I feel like that's not written, written right. It says, don't allow your talent go unnoticed. I think it's like your talents, uh, whatever. It just sounds weird to me. Maybe it's because I'm tired. Okay, it says a career in television, radio, magazine, or any mass media job might be perfect for you. Hmm, some of you who are um, looking into being in the spotlight, this is a time for you. It says it might be time to get more public publicity if you want to increase your finances. So put yourself out more, Aquarius. You really need to do that to get the results that you need, that you want. Let's get some channel messages. I'm hearing that, like it's saying, he used to be my homie, he used to be like my ace or something. I get all these songs stuck in my head, that's how spirit communicates with me. Like, you thought they were your ace, but you're going to find out something and it's going to, it shocks you. But you get through it, Aquarius, you get through it. I know I keep repeating myself, but, because I feel for you, but you get through this. You do. Okay. Housekeeper story. Oh, they want me to tell the housekeepers there. It's very important. Okay, for some of you Aquariuses, you may have to find a job as a housekeeper, or you may have to take a step down in the position. Um, short, I'm trying to make the story short, but basically I'm a nurse, and when I first moved to the state that I live in, I couldn't find a nursing job to fit my schedule because I have children and it was just me and my husband. So I ended up having to take a step down and work as a housekeeper. And I was really annoyed by that, but I needed to bring in some money and I had to do what I had to do. So during that process, you know, I kept a positive attitude 
And I learned new techniques on how to clean, you know, my home. And I, I can make a, like a killer paper tissue flower. But the point is, I looked at it in a positive light. And when I did that, I wasn't even in that position very long. Um, I gained a higher respect for housekeepers. And hey, if you have to take a housekeeping position or whatever it is, you may get led to are inspired to run your own housekeeping business or you may actually decide to, um, whatever the position is, whether it's housekeeping or something that's a little, a step, a step below the, below, I hate to say that, but you know, like a little bit of step, you had to take a step down. Let's just be honest. If you had to take a step down, whatever it was, McDonald's or whatever it is, make the best of it. Okay. Just make the best of it because you never know where it's going to lead you. That's basically what I want to say. You never know because I had to do it too. And now I'm back into nursing. I'm kind of like, I do nursing part-time now and I do my YouTube. So you never know. It says, your needs will be provided for. So your needs are going to be provided for if you're worried about that, Aquarius. Something about a stepmother. You might be hearing from your stepmother or your stepmother. Dealings with a stepmother. They want you to stay focused. Look at how this Knight of Pentacles is focused on this pinnacle right here. Stay focused. Don't let this shake you. Stay focused. They want you to know that poverty will soon be a thing of the past. Yeah, and don't let jealous people bother you. Don't let jealous people bother you. You may be dealing with people who are saying negative stuff because they're Freaking jealous, Aquarius. I've dealt with that all my life. Like, go kick rocks. I don't even I don't let it bother me because they're just ridiculous. Okay, and some of you are going to be receiving an important call this week. So there's going to be some type of important call within a week, Aquarius. All right, if you like this reading, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. I'm going to go get some rest because I'm tired. I love you all and have a wonderful next 72. Bye.